Hello Steamboat, it's me TC, and we've done it. Episode 5, one whole week in the proverbial host chair of Hello Steamboat here at the historic Chief Theater in downtown Steamboat Springs. Loving it, giving my uh, props and thanks and shout outs to the Chief of the Chief, Rick and Rock Productions, all the important people in my life who are supported me thus far and uh, I'm this close. I'm striving to get that Tony Award, that's the thing. So if anybody knows anyone who's involved with that committee, I mean, I'd really try and get one every day, but it is what it is. Um, looking for some great weekend this weather, looking for some great weather this weekend, all right? I was already thinking about golf because my man Tommy Taylor has stepped into the theater, so I'm gonna pick his brains and find out what he's got going on this season. And we got Scott Franz coming on the show today, and if you guys don't know, he's about to, uh, I don't even want to spoil it, he's going to do something crazy, and I don't know how he came up with it, but I'm going to figure out why, why and what he's doing. I just know that he's going to have a satellite phone, and we're going to try and keep in touch with him. Yeah, I don't know what he's up to. Um, and Audrey Dwyer, she's going to pop in, give us the uh, Explore news, let us know what's happening in Steamboat. And I told you guys, I got to work on this golf game, I got to impress Mr. Taylor when I'm out there. So I'm gonna get that yoga on. Yo, uh, Audrey's working on some yoga stuff, and so I'm gonna get a little stretch in, try and get the chi and the chakra and all that working. Uh, as Mr. Parker said, in with the love, out with the jive. Um, you met Rock yesterday, the lady behind Rick and Rock Productions who makes me look and sound great. Uh, what's up, Mom? Have a great weekend. Um, we're gonna hang out, like I said, I'm really excited. The weather seems to be fairly decent and spring break is upon us. Yeah, I gotta spend a lot of quality time with the kid. So this is gonna be fun. We're not going anywhere. We're gonna stick here. We're gonna, we'll have a spring break show. Um, keep asking the locals why, they, why we love mud season so much. Um, locals Appreciation Week at the Barley ends today. It's three to eight at the Barley. $3 beers, 31 on tap, pop in. They are appreciating how we appreciate them. Um, plenty of specials at the restaurants as well. Pop open the uh, pilot today, take a look. Maybe get online. As Popovich told us, check out Main Street Steamboat. You can see what's going on around town here as well. Lots of good music coming up. I saw one, mom and dad costume party. I think they're gonna be at OTP. I really wanna check that out. Sounds like a fusion of some different types of music going on, but. I was thinking I get to dress up like mom or dad, so not what I was thinking, but I'm gonna give it a try. Um, again, I'm gonna get out my political rant. I don't have one. Human race, get along. Keep being nice to each other. Treat thy neighbor as I would want to be treated. Um, our local law enforcement, again, I'll, I'll make that mention. If you're heading out for spring break today, lock up your establishment. If you're a business, get your keys back, change your codes. You don't need any seasonal employees popping back in because they forgot a lunchbox. Okay, you know what I mean. Um, drive nice, all right? It's, it's, it's casual time, it's mud season. No speeding, no honking. Get a wave in there. Uh, say hello to people on the street. If you see Rock doing cartwheels in the market, give her a high five. Um, but let's, uh, let's chill out and enjoy the time we have right now because the summer will be upon us, the people will come back, and we will have to play nice with everyone. So uh, we'll work on that. Um, as you see, the hat, a quiet place, scary movie time, people, and I've been tell, told by some people this is one that you want to go check out. Intense, terrifying, intense, terrifying tension. Not really, you know, <coughs> just tension. And here's my problem with scary movies. I don't do well with the movies that could potentially happen. You know, I'm not saying there's some creepy crawly things out in the middle of outskirts of the country somewhere where there's a cabin and a lake and some woods. But it could, and uh, I struggled with those scary movies since I was little. My kid loves them. Um, I'm hoping he pulls a Stephen King and starts writing those things, and uh, I'll go watch his scary movies. That'd be, that'd be great, as long as he's getting paid. Um, I don't know about uh, you, but I've been practicing cornhole. Yeah, I'm trying to win that tournament. May 19th, people, at the Tennis Center. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. Winner gets to go to Harris. Cherokee in North Carolina for the ACL tournament. Yeah, American Cornhole League people. You might want to check it out on ESPN. It's big time. And uh, we got some steamboat cornholers from what I've been told. 
put it in the hole. This is one of my new slogans I'm gonna yell. Oh, you see this? Yeah, if they hear you, they will hunt you. Yeah, they gave me a shirt, because I don't like scary movies. But uh, that should be cool. You guys, uh, thanks for sticking around. We appreciate all the love and feedback and comments we've got this week. Again, we're Facebook Live. After the show, we get loaded onto YouTube, so if you miss it while we're live, you can check it out later. We got Scott Franz coming up next. We're gonna see what he's got going on. I got Tommy Taylor, and then I got Audrey Dwyer gonna give me all things happening, and we can explore Steamboat. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hello, Steamboat. How you doing? Got a new show for your viewing. Having breakfast. Just keep chewing. And with your support, we'll be cruising. Hello, Steamboat. <laughs> After all the jacks are in the boxes And the clowns have all What's going on, on everybody? Street. My name is Nick LaGorga I'm here to practice another song for my show on YouTube Good Morning Acoustics You can follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Acoustics Or you can give me a like on Facebook at Good Morning Acoustics Thanks for watching <laughs> Steamboat is recorded live from the Chief Theater. Hello, Steamboat. It's me, TC. Welcome back. Historic Chief Theater, downtown Steamboat Springs. Fifth episode of our show. Coming to you live from Facebook. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing and uh, you're smelling what we're cooking because it's good stuff and it's going to taste great. Um, my next man here, I've been working with him for a while. I've been reading stuff that he's been putting in the paper for a long time. And now he's going to take off. And like I said, he's going to have a satellite phone and we got to figure out what the heck he's doing and why he's doing it. Scott Franz, come on down! <laughs> we got to get that clap crack in soon. How are you, brother? Give me a second. How are you? Very well. Thank you for coming on. I'm glad to be here. Uh, let's get right to the meat of it. You're taking off. I am taking off after seven amazing years here in Steamboat covering yeah. our city council. Uh, I've decided I'm going to through hike the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, it's 2,650 miles from the Mexican border in Southern California, and it ends at the Canadian border in uh, Northern Washington. So, just uh, decided I hadn't taken enough adventures this year and okay. settled on this one. Now, there's Scott. There's driving across country, uh -huh. motorcycle, RV. 
you want to go walk. How how far is this walk? Uh, two thousand six hundred and fifty miles. How long is it? Do you have a time frame? Of how long you should? Uh, my target is five months because if you don't hike it fast enough, the uh, snowstorms in northern Washington can end your hike for you. How did the, Did you see it online? Do you have a friend or some, you know people that have done it? Uh, I don't know anyone who's done it, but okay. um, you know I've uh, watched documentaries about uh, the John Muir Trail yeah, and that. other segments along the way, and okay. um, I've just loved backpacking and yeah. um, probably decided to do it. Uh, last spring when I was backpacking with my younger brother, uh, Nick, in the Olympic uh, wilderness in Washington okay. on a multi-day backpacking trek. And I just thought, gosh, it would be so great to just be able to do this every day for, for a couple months. And wow. That's solo? Uh, solo, but uh, it's a very uh, social experience. Yeah. You, uh, you meet tons of people from all around the world. They only allow 50 people to start it each day because it's in such high demand to get the permits to, oh, okay. to start from Southern California. Now, so is there a chance you'll busy. be you'll be walking along, maybe running someone and walk with them? Type exactly. Of thing? Yeah. 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 You kind of form. Okay. Um, you know, they call them hiking bubbles that you get in. Yeah. Um, so you'll hike camp, and will you stay with the crew, or would you rather be off solo? I think you just take it as it goes. As it goes. Like, hey guys, I'll see you. I'm yeah. going to head out. Yeah, you might meet someone really obnoxious and yeah. like, you know, maybe I'll just keep going. And now my agent, Kevin Reese, he's trying to lo lob you in too. He wants to put you under his corporate bubble. He's, I keep hearing him talk about dropping stuff for you. Is that really what's going to happen? Are you going to have supplies dropped? or? Yeah, I'm going to entrust my uh, parents to send me a couple boxes along the way. <laughs> with. Uh, I thought about my brothers, but uh, you know... I, uh, I think my parents are more a little more, more reliable. reliable. I love my brothers, but sibling, uh, older, younger. Uh, I'm the middle of three boys. You're the middle so. of three. Yeah, yeah. So you're hiking with your younger or older brother in a uh, when Younger, you're younger. Yeah. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Austin, Texas. Okay. How did we get you in Steamboat? Well, I uh, studied journalism at the University of Colorado in Boulder, okay. and uh, just fell in love with Colorado instantly. Yeah. You know, Austin's a great city, but it doesn't have any mountains. Or, right. Um, you know, the camping opportunities we have here. So I started as an intern at the uh, Steamboat Pilot today. That was right. my first gig out of college and wow. drove here. My first story I wrote was uh, covering the 4th of July parade in Yampa. <laughs> and they said, you need to go to Yampa. And I said, where the heck is Yampa? <laughs> Looked at a map and uh, there yeah, I was and, you know, just got addicted to it. And this, this place has been amazing. Yeah. I first, you know, later that day I had my first... Uh, soul at sun pies mm -hmm. you know on the river and didn't know steamboat really had a river in my head this place was just a very small is that what you were thinking small ski yeah yeah and then i got here and was just blown away by yeah. everything we had i mean so you've got you've had seven years um do you prefer what do you prefer winter summer or do you like that whole steamboat we live for the winter we get the summer i prefer the summer you do yeah the hiking yep uh ski or snowboard i ski you do yeah do you i i Really bad at it. You are Even bad after six years. Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say? I, you've watched. City, you've been covering city council. I've always asked people, how do they do it? You're you're in there. You're. In, what do you think it takes? The metal that those individuals have to deal with that position of being a city council member. Yeah, I think you know you've got to have a um, a real. Pa you have to have a passion for it. I mean, yeah. you these meetings go on five six hours. Sometimes I've you know, ushered in a new day sitting in the back and, you know, they have too. So yeah. I think, um, you know, to do something like that, whether you're a city council member or even a reporter like me mm -hmm. who's sitting in the back of the room, I mean, you've got to really care about this city and, and um, you know, be passionate about listening to people and understanding that, that what you do has a tremendous impact yeah. on, um, you know, whether they're deciding where to build a new police station right. or deciding um, you know, whether a dispensary should be able to move in. Every decision they make sure. has an impact on a lot of people. So yeah. I think that goes in, uh, that, that helps you get through those, uh, those long nights. That's got to. Um, is there a favorite, I don't wanna say city council meeting or s story that you've written that touched you the most in, in your time here? Gosh, I'd have to think about that. There have yeah. been... Because um, you've covered a lot. There have been a lot. I mean, more recently, I've enjoyed uh, uncovering the history of the Arnold Barn. Right. We've heard a lot about it. It's um, 
it's not the Steamboat Barn that everyone knows yeah. about uh, across the street from City Market. But um, for a while, the you know the story of that barn just for whatever reason got lost and yeah. it was just withering away. And um, you know every snowstorm, the people who cared about it thought, "Gosh, is this going to be the day that it yeah. collapses?" <laughs> um, so one day, you know, I was looking through old uh, Steamboat Pilot archives, mm -hmm. going back to the 1940s and um, found a uh, census that was published where they published the name of everyone who lived in Steamboat at the time. And, okay. You know, saw the Arnold name and just went to Google and typed the name. And sure enough, you know, some of the Arnold family that grew up on that uh, farm by that barn uh, were living in Grand Junction. And, oh, wow. you know, Grand Junction is pretty close. So <laughs> off I went and yeah. had lunch. We ate Sloppy Joe's and the Arnolds hosted me and we... <laughs> You know they they swat, you know they told stories about what it was like to grow up on a on a farm before they were fighting the lift lines yeah and having to wait in long lines at umbrella bars and you know when they wanted to go ski they just hiked up and I'm sure it wasn't as easy but yeah just kind of an amazing point of our history that um, you know there were people still living who could talk about it yeah and for years they just nobody really knew they were out there and they didn't really know that people cared about this barn and we're trying to save it. So right. those pieces of, um, you know, those two efforts came together. And Absolutely. It was really cool to be be a part of that. Oh, that's, that's, that's those amazing. Those are the stories that really excite me. Yeah, and I mean, as you look back to 1940s and archives, people are gonna look back and see your work. Okay? Yeah. And, and I know, man, people like what you do and you're gonna be sorely missed for sure. After you complete this little adventure, what's the plan? Are you gonna come back? You know, I'd love to uh, come back to Steamboat someday. I'm yeah. not sure if it'll be immediate, but um, I have to return to Austin, Texas to, to gather my things. Yeah. And, you know, I'd love to stay in journalism. I've sure. enjoyed this uh, career so much. I mean, the, being a reporter at the Steamboat Pilot today has been the best job I've had in my life. And, yeah. Um, I'm not going to cease being a journalist. I'm going to, you know, keep taking photos. Yeah. And I'll set up a blog. And, yeah. you know, when I'm not too far out in the boonies, I'll tell people about my trip yeah so now the trip though are you gonna have the sat phone is there a way that we could maybe keep in touch with you while you're doing it yeah and okay. i'm gonna stop at lots of cities along the way um may cheat a couple days and stay in a nice hotel sure because as comfortable as my big agnes tent's gonna be i, I think after a couple of weeks yeah i'll be missing a bed so yeah i'll uh be able to oh, check in along and, the way. and now i'm back to the is it walk to a point or walk as far as i feel depending on the weather like you got to set, I want to go this far each day. Yeah, I think you take it day by day. Yeah. And that's that's what's uh, um, enticing to me about it is just you know, being able to have the only thing you worry about, where do I want to end up at the end of the day? And, yeah. Um, yeah, it's going to be... When do you start? I'm going to start the trail May 8th. May 8th. Man, that's amazing. Uh, photos as well? Yep. I'll yeah. be carrying a camera and okay. video camera. And solar charger to yeah. keep everything powered because you can't truly go off the grid anymore. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. All right. Now, again, as I've been asking you, when you've been here seven years, what do you enjoy about mud season, my man? Uh, the deals. I mean, I <laughs> love the I live for the deals. Period. Every day we, at the paper, we open the look at the ads and yep. say, okay, who's, who's, who's got, got the, the best, best deal? deal? So I enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, single de Mayo coming up. Kentucky Derby, you, you 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 down with the horse racing at all? I'm in it for the uh, mint juleps. For the mint yeah, juleps, yeah, it's good. Have you been following? Do you have any favorites? Any inside information that we could maybe <laughs> pass to the people at all? I have no. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. Have I really don't. Either. I wish I did. But. <laughs> um, now, how about real quick? Your siblings are they are they down with you? They're like, hey, go get this. Are they jealous? Are they think you're crazy? Um, I think it's a mix. Yeah. I, I know that they're uh, interested in meeting me along the way, so really? I'll, I'll pick some cool spots that I think they'd like, uh, yeah. whether it's in Yosemite or, um, you know, we all grew up in Seattle, so right. the North Cascades we've all been to, and okay. there's some really cool places. So they will meet you, there. hike with you, camp maybe a day or two yeah. if possible? Yeah, I'm going to also have them carry all the extra beer and all the heavy <laughs> stuff that, that I haven't been able to carry. Yeah, and now how about that? Like, the recreation, like, do you... Do you keep a six pack on you or a bottle of Jameson just to chill out or something? I'm I think I'm gonna have to become a whiskey man. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I think it's just gonna be easier. I appreciate it. And I hear it. there's lots of great breweries along the way. So yeah, for lots sure. Of good pit stops. Now you can't maybe acquire t-shirts or something. Get 
trinkets of some sort. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. You got to come back and let us know how this thing went. For sure. For sure. I'll be happy. Appreciate it, man. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you Tony. for the time. Hello, Steamboat. Scott Friend, you guys follow. Uh, is it going to be a blog? You, you got a name of the blog already? I'm toying with the idea of something like Scott's Walk or something, but Scott's I'm, I'm going to have to come up with something more creative. Let us know so we can direct people there. All right. Cool. Sounds good. Hello, Steamboat. Scott Franz taking on the crazy adventure, and uh, we're going to follow him. Stick around. We'll be back with Tom Taylor. Talk about some golf. Hello, Steamboat. How you doing? Got a new show for your viewing. Having breakfast. Just keep chewing. And with your support, we'll be cruising. Hello, Steamboat. <laughs> All the jacks are in the boxes, and the clowns have all What's going on, on everybody? My name is Nick LaGorga. I'm here practicing another song for my show on YouTube, Good Morning Acoustics. You can follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Acoustics, or you can give me a like on Facebook at Good Morning Acoustics. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Steamboat is recorded live from the Chief Theater. Hello, Steamboat. It's me, TC, coming to you live from the Chief Theater in downtown Steamboat Springs. Just had a nice little quality chat with Mr. Scott Franz, who is taking off on, on an adventure. A little hike, -a, hike about, walk about, Scott's Walk. Let's see if I can get a cool name. Tony's Trot. No, I'm not running that far ever. Um, I'm more of a golf guy. And, uh, one of my favorites, he's in the building, so I'm gonna get him up here. Tom Taylor, come on down! How are you, sir? Good, TC, how are you? Good, come here, thank you, my man. Good to Appreciate see you. the time. All's well? It's great. The weather's changing, you got shorts on. I know. Clubs are ready. It's springtime. It is. You're looking good, man. The quaff is growing out. Yeah, that's winter. Yeah? yeah the so winter will disappear here before long. <laughs> I have to start work next week, so. You got, I mean, the golfers, you guys are professionals. You can throw the lid on, right? Yeah, yeah. And I like the goat. Yeah, it looks you. good. Thank you. So to give it to me, we, uh, you're going over to the stone. I am. I, I'm, I'm very lucky. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go work for James McDougall, who was promoted 
the head golf professional yeah. after Mike Dunlop left. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna help James uh, this summer, so it's it's fun. Now, are you gonna are you gonna at some point take over? You're just gonna help and just cruise easy. No intention think? of taking over. No. Uh, you know the whole my whole thing is I I've been very lucky to yeah. work in Steamboat uh, for 23 years in the golf business. It's right. only three golf courses, so. I wanted to keep working. Uh, James gave me that opportunity. Yeah. Uh, you know the good thing about Rolling Stone, it's it's managed by Troon. Right. The Troon course. Yeah. So that kind of gets my foot in the door with Troon. Okay. Which uh, you know Betsy and I still love Steamboat. Have yeah. no intention of going anywhere, but maybe sometime down the road if we wanted to. Yeah. Go somewhere. Uh, that might give me a, an opportunity. They manage like 285 yeah. courses worldwide. And then so that puts you in a Troon, which since I know you, puts me in a Troon. <laughs> so we've got a lot of courses we yeah, can play, right? Exactly. Love it, Tommy. Exactly. Let's make that happen. But yeah. don't go anytime soon because I, I still want to work on my game. And I've got to play with you numerous times and watched you played. And, you know, like Harvey says with um, American tennis, American golf is we got some boys that can hit the ball. Do you see the youth, like, you know, I keep hearing golf is dying, it's gone, their Nike's stopping, Tiger was gone on the chain. You're in it. Tell me what you see with the golf industry. Well, a good example, I think, was just the Masters, you know. You know, there was so much hype with Tiger yep. and Phil yep. and all that, but it was young guns, uh, <laughs> Jordan Spieth, Patrick, Patrick Reed, Reed, Ricky Fowler, yeah. you know, Tony Finau, you know, yes. dislocated his ankle. I mean, Excuse me, let me... Yeah, I mean, obviously he'd done that a few times before. Yeah, he popped it right back in. But for him to and then to play, yeah, and he he finished top ten. Yes, you know, so you know, all the hype was about the older guys and hopefully they'd play well. But yeah. in truth, it's the young guys, the twenty somethings. I think if you added up the total number of the last four champions prior to Sergio, yeah, I think it total is less than hundred years old. You know, four wow. champions. So there's a lot of young guys. So I don't think golf's dead and it's no. cool that Tiger's back I know he has some people that aren't his biggest fans yep. anymore but he brings so much to golf and he brings so much to the to the tournaments he yeah. goes to do you think his, have you seen I know I know you what don't you think his demeanor has changed oh yeah he's I uh, I want to say thankful that he's back I and think playing he's having fun yeah you know and he, he doesn't have the physical ailments uh, I think he's enjoying life I think he's put the past behind him and he's yeah. going forward and he, you know, it shows out there, yeah. you know, he doesn't, I don't think he gets upset. He's just happy to be able to compete again. Right. You know? um, Freddie Couples. Yeah. Because that guy, he makes me feel like I can play this game for a while. What do you, tell me about, what do you think about Freddie? Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's always had such a smooth swing. He's yeah. always been one of my favorite guys to watch, just to, to watch his swing, yep. you know. Smooth as silk, you know. He has he has back issues too. Yeah, he played with that brace yeah, on her in the Masters. Again, he made the cut and played well, you know. And uh, I think he'll always play well at Augusta. You know, yeah, he just loves that golf course. Um, Rolling Stone. Then will will there be any youth stuff going on as well? Would you have any of that going on if my little guy wants to come up and swing some clubs? Well, we will. We will. I I have a lot to learn about what our programs are, but I yeah. know we definitely are in are going to do the PGA Junior League this year. Okay. And uh, I think Steamboat's actually going to have four teams. I know we have a team at Rolling Stone Ranch, I okay. believe. Uh, uh, Catamount will have a team, and I think uh, Haymaker will have a couple of teams, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So we'll have that four teams. You yeah. know, it's about 40 kids. It's from ages 9 to 13. Okay. A very, very cool way to introduce the young players yeah. to competitive golf in a in a team-like atmosphere. Awesome. You know, it's a, it's been a great thing for Steamboat. It's been a great thing for our youth yeah. golf development. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really pushed us forward because the kids have kind of really gotten into it. Yeah, like, I mean, I feel like the Steamboat youth, like, they, they we have three courses, well, four if we want to go a little farther, but they, they like, they have fun playing. And to learn golf etiquette, like my, my son understands to be courteous and, you know, take your hat off and shake hand at the end. He understands that and he, he appreciates it. Do you see that with the kids here? Oh, yeah. That they, oh, yeah. You can tell. Yeah. You can tell kids that have grown up playing golf or around golf mm -hmm. because they are, they are just, they learn so many values in life. You yeah. Know, just out there on the golf course, you know. And, uh, and the team atmosphere is fun because you have three kids usually playing another three kids from another. another oh, right. deal. And so... You swap kids in and out during the course of nine holes, so it's it's really a it's really a fun yeah. atmosphere. Awesome. Yeah. Um, what's the uh, opening date? So weather uh, 
depending, yeah. I imagine. What do you think? When can we get up? You know, we're we're thinking sometime around the first week of May, okay. maybe first two weeks of May. It's totally totally course dependent. Mm -hmm. I know at uh, Rolling Stone Ranch we have uh, the maintenance comes first this time of year, so we are going to airify the greens. I think around the seventh of May. Okay. So you know, it it a lot a lots too many balls up in the air yeah, right now to say prep. for sure, but. If things go well, uh, you know, I could see us playing in, you know, the middle of May. For okay. Sure, you know. um, online, can people get online Rolling Stone or anything to check out? What's they will going have on? that online at their website. Okay. And uh, you bet, kind of see what programs are going on as Perfect. well. Perfect. Come back and see us again once the course gets open, and uh, I'd love to. We'll maybe once I know stuff. more, I can I can talk to you a little bit more. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I'm happy they're keeping you here because I'd hate to see you get away from us and. Uh, I appreciate all you've done with us for the golf game here in Steamboat. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Tony. Right. Thank Come you. back and see us again. All right. All right, Tommy Taylor, Rolling Stone. Middle of May, we're hoping to get him up here, uh, get him open, and we'll start hitting balls. Hello, Steamboat. Stick around. We'll be right back after this. Hello, Steamboat. How you doing? Got a new show for your viewing. Having breakfast. Just keep chewing. And with your support, we'll be cruising. Hello, Steamboat. <laughs> After all the jacks are in the boxes and the clowns have all What's going on, on everybody? Street. My name is Nick LaGorga. I'm here to practice another song for my show on YouTube, Good Morning Acoustics. You can follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Acoustics or you can give me a like on Facebook at Good Morning Acoustics. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Steamboat is recorded live from the Chief Theater. Hello, Steamboat. It's me, TC. We're back. The Friday show. And we're, uh, we're going to shut it down. I hope you've enjoyed what we've put out thus far. Got some fans in the audience. What's up, fans? <laughs> That's growing. Hey, Mom. Episode 5. We got fans. I told you. It would work. Um, Rick and Rock Productions helping us put it on. Chatted with Rock today, yesterday, a couple days ago. It's all blurring together now. Tom Taylor giving us a little golf knowledge for Rolling Stone. Middle of May, we'll be able to get up there. If you really want to play, you can get out to Steamboat Golf Club right now. They are open. Uh, got out there last week. Course played great. Went out with my agent, Kevin Reese, and his father-in-law, Skip. Um, good times. We're going to do that again soon because I'm pretty sure I won. <laughs> it's a good time. Um, but now, 
It's Friday. We got to know what's what, what's happening. Um, I told you I was going to do a little uh, yoga maybe and work on my golf game. But as well, we need to know what's happening around town. And um, no better person than the one and only. I'm pretty sure she's ready, but I'm going to call her up right now anyway. Audrey Dwyer! Come on down! Bam, 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 clap. That's the first standing ovation anyone's gotten, Audrey. A standing ovation. Yes. Hi, how's it going? Very good. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Um, a beautiful day. Way to end the week here. Yeah. With with the Dwyer. Uh, let's these do chairs it. Chairs are comfy. Do you like it? I like it. Get, get in there. See what you think. Ooh, I like these. It works. I want these at my house. These are awesome. Well, we can talk post show. Maybe we can work something out with you. Yeah, we have to. I'll have to get your info on where you got them okay we can we can work with that though. yeah so this weekend so it's mud season right now so there's it's mud season yeah can you <sighs> tell I, people leave right i'm trying to get I the think so and businesses actually shut down for a couple weeks yep renovations yep. occur yep and sometimes there's really good deals you get half price pretty much everything at restaurants seriously yeah it's awesome thank you so and it's just a local season there's a lot of stuff to do still sometimes um if the place is open. Yeah. But this weekend, it's kind of the last weekend that there's still a couple things going on. Next weekend, it's pretty slim. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out what's going yeah. on. Yeah. What are you going to tell the people about? So um, on Friday, it's 420. What? Oh, April 20th. April My bad. 20th. 420. I just thought we had to go. I'm like, Sorry, Lisa. Show's over. No. <laughs> Um, the Shaky Hand String Band is going to be in town over at Storm Peak Brewing okay. Company, and they start at 420. And ah. then um, also on Friday, there's an alternative event. Um, it's Skate Church's 420 Best Joint in Town. Now, let's clear up alternative event. Mm -hmm. You don't have to partake in any marijuana activities. Nope. Okay. Those of you that choose to do so, good on you, be responsible, have a good time. But if you don't want to, Skate Church. Right. So they're going to have um, live music, skate competition, games, prizes, free burgers, all kinds of stuff. What time does that start? Mm, that's at 6. Okay. I have to look at this because I don't yeah. have it all memorized You're fine. Yet. We're, tech, we're tech savvy here. You do whatever you need to. Um, all right, so and that's then, at 6. Yep. And then CMC's Sky Club is having a talk and uh, stargazing event on Friday as well. Okay. And that starts at 7 to, that's from 7 to 9.30 at CMC's Albright Auditorium. Okay, stargazing. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. They'll also talk about what they're working on, and they'll have free telescopes where you can just go. Okay, do I, I don't have a telescope. I don't either. Okay. Yeah, and they so have. they'll answer any questions that you might have as far as telescopes or making your own, or just what you're looking at yeah. and what you're looking for this time of year. Okay. And then, um, let's see. Mom and Dad, it's a front range band, mm -hmm. and they're going to be at OTP, and they're having a costume party on Friday. Okay, I was messed up earlier because I thought that their band name was Mom and Dad, the costume party. Nope. They're nope. called Mom and Dad. Yep. And they're having a costume party. Yep. <laughs> I apologize. See, that's why I get Audrey Dreyer in here to get <laughs> things right. I'll clear it up for you, for Man. sure. What, okay, what's going on so, with So, um, that's just a fun event that they're having. This is their last show. They've been on tour for a little bit now throughout... Colorado. Okay. Um, so it's two members of, I don't know if you're familiar with the band called Dopapod. I've heard of Dopapod. Yeah. So they're a big, like funky, yeah. jammy type of band. And they're also from the front range. Okay. So two members from that band are in this band. Okay. So each of the members, like there's a mom, there's a dad, and there's an and each person. It's a trio. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Yeah. So that'll be a really now good I show. See. And the costume really party show. is just get dressed up and just get crazy. Just yeah. I like that. Because it's spring and mud season and because you can. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Yeah. Thanks for giving <laughs> us a reason to dress up in costume. Awesome. I love costumes. Yes. What um, else we got? And then there's a couple workshops on Saturday. There's a chess for kids at the library if you're looking for something to do with your kiddos. Yeah. And the mountain's closed yeah. from 9.15 to 10.15. Okay. And then um, on Sunday, there's... Or, oh yeah, I forgot about the spring crawfish boil at Yippa Valley Brewing Company. Oh, crawfish. Yeah, I just found this out maybe like an hour or two ago. <laughs> so I'm pretty pumped about it. All right. So that's from 4 to 7 on Saturday at Yampa Valley Brewing Company in Hayden. Okay. So you'll want to make sure to get to that for sure. It's going to be good. Okay. And then on Sunday, um, Make a Noise Earth Day, um, 
So it's a big Earth Day event. Sunday is Earth Day. Oh, it is? It's the official day, yes. God, we gotta yep. know these things. And um, that's why. You're here. <laughs> and so Make a Noise is a nonprofit also based on the Front Range. Okay. And they've teamed up with a bunch of, or what they do is they team up with a bunch of different breweries and they yeah. create a new beer and then the proceeds from those beer sales go to a nonprofit of the breweries. Choice. Choice. Yeah. So That's they partnered idea. with Storm Peak, and st the beneficiary is uh, Friends of the Impa. Nice. Yeah, so that'll be really cool. And so they're using, so each of the breweries, there's five in this year's Make a Noise Earth Day okay. project program. Um, and they used, um, they each made a variation of a Belgian style beer. Okay. So it's kind of cool to see what they came up with. They yeah. all use the same yeast, but with Belgian style beers, like, you can the beer changes so much because it's yeah the yeast okay. just lets you do that. And when is that now? When's that going to be? That's going to be on Sunday, and that starts at noon. Okay. So all afternoon. All right. Um, any other little happenings you want to mention? That's what quick? I got for That's right it? now. And I mean, look and explore tomorrow. Yep. There's going to be a lot of info in there. Um, yeah, it's pretty quiet now. It's it is. hard to find some events that are happening after, especially after last weekend with right. Spring Alicious and Robert Don't Randolph. Know. Yeah. All right. Well, now as well, you you did some cleansing stuff. You got you got your in, insides and mind all healthy. Yeah. But you're focusing on some yoga stuff. Mm hmm You're gonna help me do some yoga stuff. I'll help you do some yoga stuff. Are we doing it right now? We are. We're gonna go to break and then we're gonna move the stuff and we're gonna stand yeah, up and stretch so out. I um, no save it. Are you not? I don't want to know yet. Well, I'll just explain the, like what kind of yoga. It is. Oh, you don't want to. Not know yet. It. Okay. Stick surprise. around because she's gonna tell us what we're doing, and you're gonna watch us do it. And I'm gonna try and stand up straight. Hello, Steamboat. We'll be right back. Hello, Steamboat. How you doing? Got a new show for your viewing. Having breakfast, just keep chewing. And with your support, we'll be cruising. Hello, Steamboat. <laughs> After all the jacks are in the boxes And the clowns have all What's going on, on everybody? My name is Nick LaGorga I'm here practicing another song for my show on YouTube Good Morning Acoustics You can follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Acoustics Or you can give me a like on Facebook at Good Morning Acoustics Thanks for watching <laughs> Steamboat is recorded live from the Chief Theater.
Fun. All right. Hello, Steamboat. Chief, get in here. All right, so you guys know we've been trying to decide we got to get our chakras and our chi and Pratt wants us to have good posture. Mm. Tell us what we're going to do because you've been doing this. Somehow yeah. you've gone so, into the yoga world. I'm part of um, Out Here Yoga Studio. Okay. So it's the new studio and their focus is Baptiste styled yoga. Um, so it's a different kind of styled yoga. So it's usually hot yoga, Louder. but... Um, the yoga is really kind of fast paced, but okay. also really relaxing at the same time, as far as just how I feel from Wait, it. Wait, fast paced yoga? Yeah, but also it's really about your breath. Like, there's a lot of different elements in it. Yeah. So, just having your breath. Is that why breath, he's standing like I that? I think right so. Now? I think he's trying to get into his okay. yoga. All right, well, Baptiste, center. you take over. So, okay, this, so first we'll start down. Wait, what? We'll do a couple. Oh, God, he wasn't even there. <laughs> I was in a was zen like, moment right there. Out. Do you want to yeah. be in front just of zen us? Out zen for zone. A second. You okay? Sure. Are you back now? Okay. I guess. All right. <laughs> I guess. So, we'll start down. Um, in child's pose to start off because this okay. is a got to act like a series. brat yeah because i got yeah kid. so you just do like this <clears throat> oh, so oh, this oh. is child pose are my toes out or underneath um like, you can just have them underneath like, yep flat. i'm already out of breath yep flat okay <laughs> okay so this is child's pose and we'll breathe a couple times i'm gonna breathe like so inhale, inhale breathe. Breathe. yep so inhale <laughs> and then outhale outhale, outhale. <laughs> exhale I don't know how to outhale. <laughs> and then um, we'll go up into, on our next breath, then we'll go up into down dog. Oh, I've heard of that one. Oh, <laughs> shoot. You guys doing okay? You call me old yeller and yeah. shoot me. That dog died at the end of the show. <laughs> okay, what do we do? And so now we just breathe here for two breaths. Just two. Should my heels be on the ground if they could? No, it's okay. Okay. And then we'll step forward to ragdoll. Oh, good lord. So this Jeez. one is where you go with your hands over your head and grabbing your elbows. Oh my gosh. And you can bend your knees. You can have a slight bend in your knees because okay. that helps. It's a really good hamstring. Am I trying I'm to get the shit off hamstring? I'm doing wonderful. Do you like what you see? Oh, oh, yeah. all right. Wait, wait, not yet. Get I'm going up here, to instruct partner. you. So bend your knees more. Okay. There you go. Feet, toes straight. And try and get your elbows kind of closer to your knees and just breathe for two breaths. Oh, closer to my hip breathing. Yeah, the breathing's important. That's what yoga is all about. All right, and then we'll stand up and then reach your arms up. Do I stand slow? Because a lot of blood yep, is going to go to the head, slow. right? And I'll fall. Stand slow. Okay. So breathe, so go up and then this mountain pose. Ooh. Mountain pose. I'm at the top of the mountain? Yep, and then we'll go down and then into a high plank. Oh, Jesus. I was told there'd be no plank. Yeah. Here. My uh, planks. Oh, this, I've seen these. And then we'll do a low, uh, what's it called? But not a push one up. Of these, push up. One of these. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Do I have to come back? One. Oh, no, I don't have to do another chaturanga. One. A chaturanga. There a chaturanga. Go. Oh, chaturanga. Yeah. It's like so soft. Do your chaturanga. Oh, my. And then up dog. What's up, dog? What up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> and then down dog. No, 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 what? Down dog. Down dog. You down dog? I'm up dog. All right. Wait, what? what up dog? Uh, I'm down. Comedy yoga. 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 That's the newest thing. We no. have beer yoga. Comedy yoga. Can I do that? Smoking yoga. Chaturanga again? Chaturanga. Yeah. So then that's where, so the series, so the sun salutation oh. is where you go. You step forward. Okay. You uh, do a halfway bend. So Get it's like about a, here. Yep. Okay. And then you have your back straight. Oh, wait. And then you. Straight. Straight. Oh. Yep. Not, okay. Don't bend Ooh, that I way. Feel, that feels different. <laughs> Holy and then you'll step back to high plank again. Okay. God, Audrey, come on. <laughs> you and me are going to have a serious disagreement. She ain't coming back, Rock. Chaturanga. Rock. Chaturanga down, and then I just lift the chest. Yep, and then up so dog. The when does Corbin up dog? Yeah. And then down and then dog. Down dog. Scott, get down dog. <laughs> I'm down dog. Step forward again. Okay. <laughs> and then now, are you guys ready for this? Then we have a donut. You guys ready? Do I grab We're going to do a tree pose. Oh, I can do that. So oh no, that's pose. a foot thing. I'm an aspen. Oh, yeah. Can I rest on so another you tree? Do, you can if you need to. <laughs> Hi, yep. Audrey. Hi. 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 So then you put one leg up towards the mid. Who's? Uh, whatever it's called. What's this muscle? Your hamstring? Thigh. Thigh. Quad. Yeah, that thing. So yeah. I'm supposed to oh, look at you guys. Oh, oh. oh, sorry. I thought we were done. Nope, not yet. I I'm don't. just making sure you're doing it right. Hey. You just yeah, you can hold on. <laughs> yep, there you go. And then balance. Ground yourself. Breathe in, breathe out. 
And then if you can, if you have balance enough, put your arms up. There you go. Look oh, at that. that. I got wobbly all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm well, a wobbly. So, I'm just, a, I'm so a it helps willow. if you find one spot and you focus in on that spot. Okay. And then you breathe twice, two breaths. <laughs> this a, is a gust of wind just happened. Should That's try, why. Do you guys want to try another good one? Yeah. You try eagle. It's another balancing pose. Yeah. So I you'll just... take your right arm under your left arm. Right arm. Just right. Yep. Yep. There you go. Okay. Yep. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? Here? Okay, there you go. Right? Yep, that's right. right. Yeah, there right. you go. Okay. That works. All right. Um, and then you'll take your right leg and you'll put it over your left. And if you combine it, what? if you combine it, then you kind of sink lower. It's a really good oh kind of squat gosh. pose, but it's also a good balancing pose. Yeah, it is. But you're having to hug everything in, so you're using your abs, your arms, oh. everything. Crouching kitty. <laughs> Crouching kitty. Yeah. <laughs> also known as eagle. And then we'll stand up into mountain pose again. <laughs> I've never heard crouching kitty. That's awesome. And then we'll do it on the left. Oh, so you take yeah. your left arm under, your right arm over. Oh, yeah. TC, we do have a... 10 a.m. meeting. Yeah, I'm doing some <laughs> yoga right now. And I, then we'll take our left leg over oh, the right oh. and then bind it. Yep, there you go. Oh, okay. You're doing it. And then two breaths, focus on one point. I know, we're wrapping up. Oh, we're starting. <laughs> so y'all have to be places. <laughs> I'm doing yoga. All right, we're starting. And then right. up in the mountain. And then down. <sighs> And then we're done. Oh. Okay, so that's the routine that we do and do this. And do we? We do namaste. namaste. Usually it's like this. Okay. You put your thumbs at your third eye center. Yes. And then you say namaste. 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 Audrey. That's not a full sequence. But no. It's like bits and pieces. So now the Baptiste, is that what you call it? Mm -hmm. Is it sequences of moves? Yes. Yeah, so there's a different. So there's different series within um, the full elevation power okay. yoga flow so i think there's i'd have to look i think it's five or six i don't know i'll know in september i'll be a teacher then do you nice. feel it have you feel the difference physically mentally yeah yeah i mean you can definitely i can definitely tell at the beginning of the day if i start it with yoga mm -hmm. compared to when i don't and it's a huge tell. difference yeah where can we get in touch with you if you want to do some yoga with you if you eventually. want to do some yoga with me eventually just yeah. shoot me an email okay. at adwire at steamboattoday.com there you have it. Thanks for the Woo! pass, the explore. Yeah. You come back, we do it again? Yeah. Awesome. Chief of the Chief, TC, hello Steamboat. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Give us your feedback, comments, your likes, and your loves. Have a great weekend. Hello Steamboat, how you doing? Got a new show for your viewing. Having breakfast, just keep chewing. And with your support, we'll be cruising. Hello Steamboat.
All the jacks are in the boxes, and the clowns have all the What's going on, everybody? My name is Nick LaGorga. I'm here to practice another song for my show on YouTube, Good Morning Acoustics. You can follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Acoustics, or you can give me a like on Facebook at Good Morning Acoustics. Thanks for watching. Steamboat is recorded live from the Chief Theater.